When a business stops making money, it's tempting to stop investing in it. And it's blatantly obvious that's exactly what Israel's done. The dining room is tatty, and the kitchen is lacking some of the basic essentials. You've got to give this man the tools in order to operate this fucking restaurant properly. I'm, I'm frustrated that we've got a freezer full of crap, and we've got an oven that doesn't work. So we've got to get our priorities right. Your business, you're employed as the head chef, you both have to start speaking the same language. That is absolutely critical. I hope this is the beginning of things to change, and I hope that if you leave us felt in the past that he's been put under pressure to cut corners. Uh, not to cut corners without talking to me. With the lines of communication open and the promise of vital equipment on the horizon, Philip and I can start thinking about the food. Do you not think the menu's too big? Yes, it is. Maybe, finally, we're starting to get somewhere. To pull in lunchtime diners is out with fusion confusion and in with a snappy menu tasty fresh food that can be pushed out quick. You see what I'm trying to do? I'm just yeah. trying to lift it. I don't yeah. want to get complicated. These guys yeah, yeah, no, aren't in a position to get anything complicated done. That's pretty obvious. Mm. And how much does it cost to make And Phil come up with a classic French sandwich to get our creative juices flowing. So you're quite passionate about the cop, monsieur? I do like it, yes. When you're so passionate about something as nice and delicious as this, mm -hmm. how can you make that baguette with the chicken and the plastic cheese? I know. This is water for ducks back for you. You're a Frenchman. This surely must be the kind of food you mm. like yeah. cooking. It is. Because I've seen you more relaxed in the last 10 minutes than I have in three days. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be nice for you to give a little bite to the guys and tell yeah. them about it. I Show will. them a little bit of sort of, you know, yeah. passion. Oh. At last, some real food, and it smells delicious. Huh? All yeah. the way from Dijon. Huh? You're happy with that one, aren't you? Mmm. That's beautiful. Did, we, we nice. Very nice. Yeah. Alsama, awesome, what do you think? Nice. I like it. Mmm. Munya, baguette, chicken baguette, or cop monsieur? I think a cop monsieur is much better because yeah. it looks better, tastes better. We're going to take a picture. Why are we taking a picture, Philip? For records of it. It becomes idiot proof. Mm. No matter how easy you think the sandwich is, it's still possible to damage a business on a shit sandwich. In the past year, Philip has already changed the menu four times, to no effect. So it's not surprising that Israel needs a little reassurance that another new menu is the right step. If we agree that we're going to cook it this way, yeah. and it changes in and cuts corners, that is frustrating. When I talk about reintroducing menus, I'm not talking about fucking food that's over his head. I'm talking about soups, sandwiches, yeah. and straightforward dishes that you can identify, that are idiot-proof and fucking delicious. Yeah. That's music to my ears. That's all. That's... But it's not just the food that's been letting the place down. Uh, 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 Dave Bone has been a worry to me ever you since I arrived. Yeah, He's talked the talk, life. but done little to back it up. You have fallen for the um, biggest problem any restaurant manager has with their staff. You become their best mate. Mm. And that's pissed off a few people in here. You can't afford to run this restaurant as your social event. Otherwise, mate, you won't be here for much longer. Turning it into my own show mm -hmm. was probably not the best for business, but the easiest. You're running a fucking smart, cool cafe bar. New start. Stand apart from your staff. 